Just like the feathers on an arrow, Bloodhound's huge fin is crucial to the car's straight line stability. With so much relying on its strength, it must be put through a punishing test before it can be fitted to the car. Today we carried out um, a load deflection test and a dynamic test. It's normally called a, a bump test. You hit the uh, fin with a hammer or, or something and you can measure the frequencies via an accelerometer. And depending where you hit it, you can excite different uh, different modes. You, you could get a, a frequency, uh, you know, it's running along the desert, you, you might get a series of bumps which can be at the right fre the same frequency and set off some uh, um, vibration of the fin, uh, or that coupled with some aerodynamic turbulence or, or something like that can start a flutter. So we, we need to look at that. The second part is a test, was a load deflection test to really validate the modelling that's been going on so far. So we loaded up the, the fin with uh, up to well, just under a tonne of ballast in six stages and uh, measured the deflection at each stage. And at each stage we also had some uh, strain gauge readings which measures the, uh, the, the, the stretchability of, of, of the spars. Where we were measuring from, which is probably two thirds of the way up the fin, uh, it got up to just over five millimetres deflection. Some of that's due to the rig itself was twisting, which we also took into account. I did a model of this test, uh, including the, the jig itself and the deflection at the tip came out at just over eight millimetres. So two thirds down, five millimetres, it's, it's of that order. With the results closely matching the predicted data, the fin can be whisked off to Newquay, where it will run on the car for the first time the next day.